What's up, friends? This is your favorite coach with the most, Mr. D, with another amazing Sunday story time. It's been a while since we had our last Sunday story time, so I'm glad to have you back. Matter of fact, let's give ourselves a round of applause for joining our story time today. That was a really good round of applause. Very good. Well, since we're back, let's not waste any time and get straight into this book. Today's book is boop, Dinosaur Dance, and it's by Sandra Boynton. Whoa, what a cool book. Do you like dinosaurs? You do? I love dinosaurs too. Wow, maybe we'll get to see one of our favorite dinosaurs in this book. All right, so without further ado, let's get right into it. Hmm. Zang bop. Kidly pow, the dinosaur dance is starting now. Whoa. Look, that dinosaur is ready to dance. Are you ready to dance? I hope so. Wow. All right, let's get into it. Okay, I'm excited. I'm super excited. The blue stegosaurus goes shimmy shimmy shake. The red brontosaurus goes quivery quake. Can you go shimmy shimmy shake? Like this awesome blue stegosaurus? Let me see you do it. Shimmy, shimmy, shake. Shimmy, shimmy, shake. That's pretty good. How about, can you give me a quivery quake like our red brontosaurus? Whoa, yeah, that's right. Quivery quake. Quivery quake. Very good. You're a pro. Good for you. Triceratops goes tappity tap. And the pterodactyl goes flap, flap, flap. Whoa, look at this Triceratops. He's tap dancing. Do you know how to tap dance? Right? I think that's how it goes. And of course, pterodactyls have wings, so their wings go flap, flap, flap. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Can you flap your wings like a pterodactyl? You're, you're pretty good, you're pretty good. Are you sure you're not a pterodactyl? Hmm. Tiny little dino goes diddly D. I don't know his name. What could it be? Hmm. What's the name of our tiny little dino friend? I don't know. Hmm. Let's see if we find out. Velociraptor twins go bumpity bop. Tyrannosaurus Rex goes stomp, stomp, stomp. Ooh, I love the Velociraptors. They're so, so cool. Oh my gosh, and look at this amazing T-Rex. Who doesn't love the amazing T-Rex, right? Can you make a roar like a T-Rex? Roar! Yeah, just like that. You're pretty good. Maybe you're a T-Rex. Are you a T-Rex? Hmm. Iguanodon goes dippity da. And a tiny little dino goes cha cha cha. Yes, the tiny little dino goes cha cha cha. What? Look at this Iguanodon. I've never even heard of an Iguanodon before. But look, there it is, Iguanodon. And we have an amazing little dino whose name we still don't know, but he's doing the cha-cha-cha. Can you do the cha-cha-cha? Let me see you cha-cha-cha. Let's see, can I get some cha-cha-cha music? All right, let's go. Cha-cha-cha-cha-cha, cha-cha-cha-cha-cha, cha-cha-cha-cha-cha. That's right. Maybe it's doing the cha-cha slide. Ooh, that would be pretty funny. Now everybody wants to try the cha-cha-cha. What? Oh, because the little dino did it. Now everybody wants to do it because it's so, so silly and so, so much fun. Wow, that's pretty cool. The end. Wow, this was an amazing book by Sandra Boynton and it's called The Dinosaur Dance. All right, so for all my little dinos out there, cha-cha-cha on the way, I hope you enjoyed this book, all right? Again, thank you guys for joining us for another amazing Sunday story time. I'm your favorite coach with the most, Mr. D. Woo-woo! Love you guys. 
So glad to be back. See you on the next one. Bye. Hey friends, as always, it's Mr. D and this is another edition of Sunday Storytime. I hope everybody's been well and I hope you're extremely ready and extremely excited for today's story. Hmm, what should our story be about? Oh, I know. Would you like to learn how to catch a mermaid? You would? Great, because today's story will teach you all about how to do just that. How to catch a mermaid. Whoa. Aren't books amazing? We're gonna learn today how to catch an actual mermaid. Whoa, this book was actually written by Adam Wallace and Andy Elkerton. Whoa, how to catch a mermaid. Are you ready? No, 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 no. I can't hear you. Are you ready to learn how to catch a mermaid? Whoa. Yeah, I think I think you're ready. All right, let's let's get to it. Hmm, how to catch a mermaid. Last week I saw a mermaid. It's not something I'd pretend. I'd really like to catch her so she could be my friend. Oh, that'd be pretty cool. Could you imagine having a mermaid for a friend? Whoa. We'd have the best adventures. I'd learn her mermaid ways. We'd tour her mermaid city. We'd swim for days and days. Wow. That would be pretty awesome. Don't you think? Of course it would. Just hanging out with a mermaid all day. Very cool. Hey you two, come follow me. I need you on my team. The water is where we need to plan our mermaid catching scheme. Uh oh. She's recruiting some of her friends to help her out. We're trying to catch that mermaid. Ooh, this is very cool. I wonder if she really, 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 really is ready to catch that mermaid. She sounds like she is. But how to catch a mermaid? You don't learn this in school. No, you don't. We'll need to build a gentle trap and start near the tide pool. Hmm, that's very smart. You definitely want to make sure it's a gentle trap. We don't want to hurt our mermaid friend, do we? Nope, nope, nope. No, we don't. First, I have this jewelry box. She'll love this bait I bought her. She can't resist the treasure chest. Oh no, it's in the water. Oh my gosh, look at the treasure chest. It's in the water with those sea turtles? No, they're not sea turtles. They're crabs. Whoa, look at those crabs. Can you act like a crab? Oh, you guys are so crabby. <laughs> okay, that was a really bad dad joke. All right, here we go. Well, Mermaids love bright, shiny things. A crown will catch her eye. We'll lure her in with this new trap. And then our net will fly. Ooh, good idea. Shiny crown, big net. Makes sense, right? I think so. Hmm. Her seaweed lasso snatched the crown. We'll need a different plan. Let's put a sparkly necklace down inside a giant clam. Oh, they got a 
look what the mermaid did. She used a seaweed lasso, kind of like what a cowboy uses, you know, that rope thing. Yeehaw! Well, she used it to snatch the crown. Well, this mermaid is very, very smart and very tricky. Hmm. Let's see if the sparkly necklace inside of a giant clam will work. She switched the necklace with a rock to stop the clam from snapping. Now she has another prize. We need some better trapping. Oh my gosh. That tricky mermaid did it again. She switched the necklace with a rock. Ah, now she has the crown and a necklace. They need to work on their trapping skills. Don't you think? Me too. We made a lasso out of our own and hid in the seaweed. She swam too fast for us to catch. Oh, when will we succeed? They just keep getting outdone and outdone by that rascally mermaid. Oh my goodness. Do you think they'll ever catch her? I don't know. We'll have to keep reading. Now let's try to switch it up and play some funky beats. And maybe that will draw her in. Oh no, there's sharks, retreat! Oh no, the sharks heard those cool beats. And then they started coming over. Ah, sharks aren't mermaids, right? No, of course they're not, they're sharks. That's why they're called sharks and not mermaids. That would be silly. Uh-oh. We escaped from all the sharks. That was a scary scene. But now we get to up our game with this cool submarine. Wow, look at that cool submarine. Wow, I love submarines. Can you make a noise like a submarine? It wasn't bad. It was. It was. It was decent. It was not a bad submarine. I need to work on my submarine. Anyhow, this submarine has robot arms to catch our fishy lass. But this mermaid can't be caught. She really is too fast. Whoa! She's even faster than the submarine. Ah! Uh, I don't think they'll ever catch this mermaid. Look at her. She's just too, too fast. She's a really good swimmer. Are you a really good swimmer? Can you swim super fast? Like, or are you like Mr. D? Are you very slow? Like this. I don't know. You have to tell me. It's time to pull out all the stops. We have to be quite sneaky. But she heard our trap from far away. That treasure chest was creaky. Creak, creak. Creak, creak, ah! Oh. The treasure chest made too much noise and the mermaid heard it, so she stayed away. She's such a smart mermaid. They're trying everything. I don't think any, I don't think anything they're gonna do is gonna get this mermaid, I don't know. Oh no, look out, the sharks are back. We're doomed, what can we do? We used up all of our traps and bait. Without some help, we're through. Oh no, our mermaid trapping friends are in danger. Those sharks look really, really hungry. Uh-oh, can you make a shark type of noise? Like, like that's how sharks would eat, right? Like, could they have giant jaws and teeth? I don't know. Those doesn't they don't look like those baby sharks like <laughs> uh, the song. They look like hungry sharks, right? That are going to try to eat our friends. Our mer our mermaid comes to save the day. She made a trap to save us. She scares the sharks 
and scoops us up. She really is courageous. Whoa, the mermaid came to the rescue. Yep, she saved our friends. Wow, she's such a nice mermaid. Even when they tried to trap her, she still came back and she helped out. Way to go, mermaid. Get those sharks out of here. Hooray! We're safe and back on land. Three cheers to our mermaid. We'll miss her smart and clever tricks. We miss she could have stayed. Aw, we really wish she could have stayed. She's gone. Bye, mermaid. We're gonna miss you, mermaid. Bye! Alita Zane, so long. Sayonara. Bye, mermaid. Oh. The end. Oh, this book was super cool. I guess we learned we really can't catch a mermaid. Um, because it all the things we tried didn't work. But at least we know the mermaid is super nice and she'll help us out if we need it. Did you guys enjoy How to Catch a Mermaid? Of course you did. Who doesn't like this type of book? It's amazing. Well, I hope you had a great time. I hope when you go to the beach, you can try to catch you a mermaid too. All right. This is Mr. D saying bye and see you next time for another story time Sunday. Later. I'm going to go catch a mermaid or a sea turtle or something. I don't know. Bye.